Today I'm going to do a test review of set number 42027. Now, I'm pretty sure you're wondering, test review? Well, I recently got a new camera and it shoots HD video. And I'm doing this review as a test to see that if I could do set reviews uh, in the future. And so I told myself that I would review the next set I bought after I bought my camera. Well, it just happened to be this one because I got a coupon for uh, $10 off uh, a Lego set at Toys R Us. So I got this cool, I got this cool Lego set for about $7 out of my pocket. Not bad. And as you'll uh, notice from the set versus the box art that I do not have the stickers on it. I generally don't apply the stickers to my Lego sets because I'm going to reuse the parts for mocking purposes anyways. And that would just mean that I either have to find a, a, a mock that suits the, uh, the stickers, which I have done before, specifically on Rodney Dieter. Or I gotta just take the stickers off later and then they're ruined and then the parts got that gunk on them and it's just, it's just easier to leave the stickers on their sticker sheet and maybe sell them in the future. I just, I don't know what I'm going to do with my stickers, but I generally just keep them in the instructions. Now, the main feature on this set is that it is a wind-up. You could call it a wind-up toy or it's got the pullback function. The last time I had a, a Lego set with a pullback function was 2000 two maybe 2001 very it was quite a while ago and I still actually have that motor around here somewhere and, and I've tried to use it for mocking but the thing I found was that it was too flimsy it had no torque and it wouldn't power anything I tried to do with it so it sat in my miscellaneous brick box unused uh, the thing I, the thing I'm really impressed with this motor is it's got quite a lot of torque and quite a lot of speed. Uh, Legos definitely improved their pullback motors over the years and, and, and I personally feel that this motor is compact enough to stick in just about anything you would want to use it for that's on the Technic scale and it's got enough torque to power most uh, most mocks that you're going to consider using a pullback motor for. I actually have have a plan for, for this that hopefully I'll get to before too much longer but we'll see. Time will only tell. Uh, the other interesting feature about this uh, model is it's got a winch. I, you know, I never really took a good hard look at this set. I'm just like, ooh, hey, something that's green. And walked right by it as I went and looked at other sets on the shelf. Uh, that surprised me. I, I, I think it's cool that Lego took the time to add another small little feature to the set. It, it, it definitely adds to playability, even if minorly. Plus, it gives me more string. Hey, cool. More string. I could always use more string. String is useful. Um, the, the only major con I have with this set is that. That's just, to me, that's sloppy building. Uh, you know, somewhere, I feel like somewhere in all of this set, they could have they could have used this here to anchor. You know, it, it, it would have taken them five, six, seven more, you know, a few more parts to, to anchor this down so that it doesn't flop about as you're handling the model. To me that just felt, I don't know, but it felt lazy. <laughs> you know, five more parts and they could have added something to keep it from doing that. Um, the, the B model for this set is actually a combiner model with set 42026 
the, the orange uh, race car, or I think it's maybe, I think it's a race car, or maybe it's a, um, I don't really know what it is. I haven't, I, they didn't have that set when I went and purchased this one. But, you can get the instructions for it online, and if you have this set and that one, you can build this weird, funky, six wheel truck thing. And I guess that's got, I guess that uses just one of the pullback motors as well. So, yeah, it's cool that they uh, still managed to get a B model out of, out of this. That's always one of the things that's impressed me about LEGO, is that they, um, they really, they, they can always find a way to take what you have here and make something else with it. So that's been my review of set 42027 Desert Racer, and I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, as I said before, this is a sort of test video, so any feedback that you can give me would be much appreciated. Thank you, and see you next time.